In this video, we're going to set up our push notifications for an iPhone application. To do so, first go to the App Dashboard and click on Push Notification. If you scroll down, you'll see a link to Create an APN Certificate. Click on that, and it'll open up this page, and we'll click on the link developer.apple.com slash iPhone. Next, click on the link Sign In, then put in your Apple ID and sign in. Next click on Certificates, Identifiers and Profiles. Next click on Identifiers. Next click on Add to create a new iOS app ID. The app ID description name, I'm just going to put example name. This is the name that would appear in the App Store and also on the phone. This is not a real app I'm doing here, it's just a demonstration. Okay, we need to select Push Notifications. And now we need the bundle ID, and this is going to be com.bzzapp. The name of the application as it's known in the App Builder. So, for example, if you went to the application dashboard, you could copy the name from here and then paste it in here and take out everything after the apostrophe, including the apostrophe. Capital letters are important, so if it's capitalized in the App Builder, it needs to be capitalized here. I already have an app with that name, so I'm going to put another name in, which is just going to be example, example app name, and then we can click on continue. And then on the next page, check the information is correct, and if it's correct, click on submit. And then on the next page, just click on done. And now you should see your new application listed in your list of applications. Now, of course, I don't really have an app called Example Name, but I do have an app called Havelock North. So for the remainder of this demonstration, I'll be adding an APN certificate to the app Havelock North. So click on your app, scroll down and you'll see Settings. And when you scroll down, you'll see Production SSL Certificate. Create Certificate to use for App ID. Click on Create Certificate. Next, click on Continue. And now you need to upload the CSR file. So we're going to get this from the App Builder. Let's go back to the App Builder. And from our push notification page, we had the link Create an APN Certificate, which we clicked earlier. And on this page it opens, in step 6, we can actually download the APN request.csr. So we'll download that now, save it to a hard drive. Now let's go back to the iOS Developer Center and choose File. Click on Choose File, select the file we just downloaded, and click Open. Now it'll upload, and next click on Generate. And the next screen will say, Your certificate is ready. Download and install and back up. Next click on Done, and from the next page we can download the certificate. So scroll down, and you'll find Production SSL Certificate Download. Click on Download and save this to our hard drive. apps underscore production dot CER, save. Now we can go back to the push notification page on the App Builder. We scroll down, and where it says APN certificate, click on browse, then select apps underscore production dot CER file. Click on open, upload, and it's done. You'll see a little yellow icon here, the name of the app followed by underscore push dot CER. So now I'm going to publish this app with this new APN certificate. Start submission process. And we're going to do a review and publishing. Next. Click on Next. I want push notifications enabled. Click on Next. Click on Next. Now this is already a published app, so I'm going to make a new version of it. I'm going to call it 1.1. It's already got a name. That's exactly the name that's in the App Store. I'm going to take off the shine effect. I didn't like the way it turned out. And I'm going to click Submit. Request process complete. We're done. Of course, in this case, we're adding our APN certificate to an application that was already published. But we could just as easily have added it to an app which has not yet been published. 
just as long as we make sure our app bundle ID is correct. For example, com.bzzapp. your app ID, whatever your app ID is in the app builder, and if it's capitalized in the app builder, you need to capitalize it exactly the same here. So app ID, for example, if that was the name of your app in the app builder. Okay, thank you very much.